everyone so final video review for this week is for my paperback read which was four movements by sally seri brooks and for any of you that didn't see the introduction video last week this is just a quick look at what the book looks like and you can still check out that introduction video and if you want to check out my goodreads review i did just post that the other day so if you're on youtube there's a link in the description below and if you are on facebook or on my blog then there is a link within the post and this is a video review so four movements by sally seri brooks oh my god if a piano could talk i tell you it would have some stories um this is basically a story that follows four different people so in 1959 um nancy as a child is lucky enough to be gifted a piano by her uncle uh, when her family moved to stevenage and as she grows up the piano moves to a new home at a women's crisis center um where it's really important to helping women find comfort um but when the, when the centre outgrows it, um, it it's it's sold once again uh, to Tim, who um, buys the piano and finds himself um, caught up in a politically changing 1997, um, and he, that is all thanks to the young woman he has bought the piano from, and then it finally finds itself a bit abandoned and a bit feeling a bit sorry for itself in a dusty school practice room in 2011 where it quickly becomes um the center of an art project for two young ladies who um who bring it back to life in the community and it was just such a beautiful story um now this isn't what i would predominantly call lesbic woman loving woman book um but it held a lot of representation for, of such relationships um throughout the four separate stories um and those those people um it, it's almost like a full circle type of type of thing so those those characters um all represent and are part of and the piano very much represents and is part of um a women loving women community and so i love this like i say it's not predominantly lesbic so don't pick it up thinking you're going to get um a woman loving woman romance but you will get elements of and this is a really important i would say um book for the whole of the lgbtq community and i think um it's got a lot of representation of such relationships predominantly women loving women throughout and um but it, it covers everything um it really does cover everything and the four the four separate stories that make it up are almost as if they're one and this had a very much like i say if the piano could talk it had a very much if these walls could talk type of feel to it um the piano is the linking factor between all the stories and is so important to all of them um but it was most interesting to experience a story like this um i think i just really really enjoyed it i got very much lost in it and um there were parts of it obviously 1959 um is a time I don't know. <laughs> 1989 was a time where I wasn't around and obviously 1997 and 2011 I was. So there are experiences in this um, past um, um, that I can't really relate to as well and then present that I can relate to. I actually remember some of these things um, it, in sort of like how the, how the era was, how the decade was, how the everything was if you know what i mean make it i'm making a right mess of this aren't i you know what i mean in 1997 i very much the picture painted by sally in this book was very accurate it's what i remember it's very much what i remember and i was very young then but i do remember um and um i just think a story like this where an object just like people will have many experiences throughout its existence is really fascinating and um, how it will bring joy to different people and how have different meaning to different people and it and you know inanimate objects they're not they don't have a heart and a soul they do something like an instrument does um lots of things do but that that yeah you can see it's it's its own person if you like and it wasn't the only linking factor between the stories like i say there was very much full circle this and there were a lot of things that link it in and when you start to read you'll realize how that all work weaves together and it's so so clever um because obviously the whole time the piano has been in stevenage so um i was completely intrigued by this story and after i i heard about it at elcon sally um sally was talking about it and explaining um 
the book and I just knew that I had to read it one day which is why I bought a copy of it and then I've waited forever to read it which was really bad of me but it was worth the wait. Um, I learned a lot from it about times, feelings, thoughts, emotions and music um, and it had a very clever plot like I say and a lovely sentiment between the stories um, that make up the story of the life of the piano rather than the people um, and I think to each of the lives that it met throughout the story the piano holds different meaning which to the reader is then emotional and touching in different ways so some of the characters you might be able to resonate with more than others but I think you will be able to find something in each character that you understand and why they've what their love is of this piano and um, why it's important to them but it felt very emotional very emotional and I felt very connected to it um, all the beautiful lives and stories told and each character was unique um, had their own little story and had an important role to play in this the bigger picture but also in their own little story um, but the most important role was definitely played by the piano <laughs> um, so I, I just can't really explain how wonderful um, it felt to read this and it's one of those books I think will stay with you because I keep thinking about it and um, it keeps every now and again we'll just come back into my mind and I'll think about it and um, I just I, I also have this really annoying urge to want to learn to play the piano which I've always been interested in but now I really want to do it and um, I really wish I could do that but I probably would be rubbish at it um, but it was it was such an experience and you could really feel that passion um, and I would highly recommend picking this up and just delving straight in um, and although it is all links you could literally read these as four separate stories so you could you could read each one as a separate contained story and I think it's lovely how they all came together as well really intriguing and I just absolutely adored this I really did I can't recommend it enough I, it's definitely a book you should read and it, it will leave you thinking and it will challenge you emotionally and I think you will you will have a lovely time reading it I do um, it it is easily Sally's strongest work um, and I, I loved her other books but this one I think is definitely my favourite and it's definitely the one I'm most in awe of. It really has taken some talent to put this together and it's it's just so beautiful and so brilliant and it's definitely a little gem that won't disappoint if you do grab a copy. I think you'll really end up loving it. Um, so I'll pop a link in the description so you can go and grab a copy of four uh, Four Movements by Sally Zeri Brooks. Um, if you've read Four Movements by Sally Zeri Brooks, please let me know. I would love to hear your thoughts on this book. Um, come and discuss it, get involved in the discussion. Um, and if you haven't read it yet, but it's on your to be read list or you're interested in reading it or you've now decided that you'd really, really like to read it, um, again, comment below, get involved because it's always great to hear what you're reading. And if you do read it, I really hope you love it because it, it is a book to love. Um, so enjoy. Bye.